Hello, my name's Ken Rife. I work with RVs for Less in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm gonna spend a few minutes with you today talking about a DRV full house. It's their toy hauler line. So behind me, we have a JX390. This is a 2020 JX390 full house. It is their 42 foot version of the toy haulers. This is the only one that's under 44 feet. So it is a two axle unit instead of three. It does come standard with the IS suspension. Uh, so it does have the independent suspension system. Anything 44 and over on the toy hauler version, the full house comes with the Morad axle system. So this is only one standard with the IS. With the full house, you also get a 5,500 watt gas generator and you have two fuel tanks. You have two 27 gallon fuel tanks, one dedicated to the generator, one dedicated to the fueling station, but you can take the fueling station and fill the generator tank so you effectively could have 54 gallons of fuel on board for your generator. The generator will burn upwards of a half a gallon an hour on a heavy load. So with the 54 gallons, you have well over 100 hours available to you if you was off-site uh, boondocking, camping, that, that type of thing. So the uh, full house is built much like the mobile suite. It is a partial body paint. So again, everything you see colored is uh, paint except for the side of the slide that goes through the wall. That is gel coat. And the, under the fifth wheel area, that is an anti-chip paint. So you do have that anti-chip, so you just reduce the road rash and debris. And then we do have the six-point leopard level-up system. It is a one-touch level-up system. So you have an auto level, an auto hitch, and then manual mode. You can uh, do pretty much what you want. If you wish to have a flat or something, uh, you can raise it off the ground. For that. We have uh, 17 half inch H-rated tires. Again, disc brakes. Spare tire has the exact same wheel and tire that is on the ground. So if you had to use it, it would look exactly like you had. This particular unit, we have three awnings. So we have a main patio awning, we have a, a rear door awning, and then with the cargo ramp that makes a deck, there is a awning that extends over that. So they call that a cascade awning. So we do have three awnings on this unit as we go in. So as we come down the side of the unit coming toward the rear door, we have our second entrance which goes into the cargo bay. Now this is a 10 foot garage, it's a 42 foot unit with a 10 foot garage. So we have the second entry door going into the garage itself and you do have an awning with LED lights over that exterior door also. And then as we continue on around the unit, we will see the, uh, the deck. So as we come to the back, we will see the ramp door, which makes a deck also. You have all LED lights, and then we have a cascade awning over the deck. Now you'll notice with uh, DRV, with their full house, we do not have the, the ratchet handle that closes the door. These doors are much like an automobile door, so they have a catch at the top. So it is a clean deck door, so you don't have that hardware obstructing the view. To let the door down, we have a key that goes into the little slot here that releases the door. So we'll just put the key in, unlock the door, and then it is a spring assist, so it will just come down. And then this is deck level, so this is makes our deck for the door. We have railings that go around the deck, and that will hold a thousand pounds of weight. Or if you take the tables loose, then your ramp door then extends to the floor and then you can load your toy, whatever that may be. You have the cables here that gives you the assist on loading. So it is a zero G loading system. So we can pretty much raise this one handed. So this door does assist in loading and, and unloading. The yellow strap up in the center of the door, that is an inside release. So if you want to let this down from the inside, from the garage area, you pull the yellow strap, it releases the door just like we did with the key. And again, you see the cascade awning that extends over the deck itself. And then we have the three season patio enclosure. So you have the sliding doors that are glass filled. So that glass will actually block the wind in early spring or late fall. So you can have the view, but not have the cold air blowing on you. And then late 
spring, early fall, summertime, if you want that breeze, that glass is removable from that door and then you have a uh, screened in patio. So as we come around to the off door side, you will see the filling stations of the unit. So again, we have two tanks. Uh, we have uh, a tank for the generator. Your front tank, 27 gallons, is dedicated to the generator. Your rear tank, 27 gallons, is dedicated to your pump station. Inside this little compartment, you have a fuel gauge, and then it tells you a generator tank or a fueling station tank. And then you can turn your pump on, and uh, your pump is actually located in here. And this little compartment actually have a regular fuel pump handle so you can fill up your toy or again you can transfer that fuel to your generator uh, tank so you have the extra run time on your generator. So let's take a few minutes and go inside. So as we come inside Again, this is a DRV full house, JX390, 42 foot, 10 foot garage. So as we come in the main door, we're coming into the living kitchen area. You walk into the fireplace, 55 inch TV with a sound bar system. Uh, so you do have a um, subwoofer behind and a antenna. It's a wine guard antenna system goes in here and you have a Blu-ray DVD player that's in there with that. It is wired, of course, for a satellite system, either on the roof or you can have a tailgater on the outside. And then we have uh, good overhead storage above the TV. Uh, for a toy hauler, you know, if you're in the toy hauler market or have been looking at toy haulers, there's some give and take in, in room when you get a garage. This one has ample uh, storage space. So here on this little pamphlet, we're showing a little bit about how a DRV is made. It's showing you your 15-inch uh, box frame that uh, steps down to the lower deck and remains a 15-inch box frame. We actually use box gussets instead of a flat gusset. And then if you look on this diagram, it actually shows you the tube itself. We have two sixes and a three-inch welded together. We do have a three-year structure warranty. And as I was saying with the JX390, we have the independent suspension standard, so this shows you the Morad independent suspension. Each wheel works individually of itself. And then we have the copper manifold system, and then we see how we have the uh, aluminum walls hung, uh, screwed in place, double vapor barrier with uh, wool insulation. Now as we enter into the kitchen area, the first one we will come to will be the pantry. So this has a very large walk-in pantry well lit and the pantry actually comes in behind the TV so you have a lot of storage in there you can actually put your broom dust mop dust pan things like that in there on the, maybe have a wall hanging storage a lot of pantry space for a unit this size and then as we continue on down through the kitchen we see we have the black stainless appliances so we have the whirlpool black stainless it is a french refrigerator so you have the top two doors or refrigerator water filter on the upper right hand corner water dispenser on the left hand wall and then the crisper units and then we actually have the uh, freezer on the bottom with the ice maker on for the top shelf on the left Then we have two large cabinets above above that is it's very tall storage we do have nine foot ceilings so we do have vertical storage uh, most likely you would need a two-step ladder to reach some of this shelving and inside that large walk-in pantry would be a great place uh, to house your two-step ladder now, as we continue on left we have a black stainless whirlpool convection microwave so it is a full convection uh, we open up, you see uh, we have lots of room in the uh, convection microwave, and then we have hidden controls here for the uh, convection oven itself. And then again, above the microwave, the DRV is always thinking about storage, so we have uh, lots of storage above the microwave. And 
and then to the right you have a cabinet with shelves. And then we have, of course, the three burner range. We always add the gas oven with our units. And our customers most of the time want the gas oven. So we build it into all of our units. It is an option, but we have it put into our units. So you can lift the uh, range top lid to expose the three burner Furion oven, or the range top. And then the oven below does light off the knob again, so you don't have to get down and light the pilot light. And then you have some storage to the right of the oven. Uh, would say cookie sheets, bake pans, things like that uh, would be in there. Then we do have a four foot island. Storage in your island. You have uh, five drawers, two doors with shelf in, in, the, uh, in the island. So it's a clean island. The sink is on the back wall. So this is a clean island for prep. Or you can get bar stools to sit at the island if you wanted to use it as a table because uh, we don't have in, in the JX390, one thing they don't have compromising as, as we were talking about is a dining room table, but you have a large seating area. So continuing on to the back wall, uh, we have our sink area. So we have very nice backsplash. This is indigenous to the full house. So this is not available in mobile suite or the elite suite. This is full house only. And then some uh, tall storage doors here. <clears throat> so we have two shelves with the flat, so three shelves in here, four doors, a lot of storage in here. Notice the facial trim on the slide outs do light up. All LED lights inside is all LED, 12 volt LED lights. And then we have uh, the full stainless sink, same that's in the mobile suite and the elite suite. Uh, we have the square stainless. We have a large side for kettles, pots, that kind of thing, and then a small side for just regular plates, cups, saucers, that thing. And then the uh, kitchen faucet is a removable with a spring load, and it does have a stream and spray knob. One hand. put the tops back on then you have more uh, storage for countertop space also and then we have some uh, storage underneath I think the uh, utensils for the convections in there right now a lot of storage underneath the sink uh, then a shelf to the left trash drawer on the bottom left the RV always provides a trash drawer so you can get that out of the way it's not sitting out inside the, the room at all and then a use utensil drawer or a catch-all drawer, however you would like that. And then as we continue on left into the living area, then we're into the slide out. So this is uh, full seating. Uh, this unit is a uh, recliner on each end and then a wide section in the middle. And the middle section actually folds down to be uh, more of a theater seat. So you have the cup holders. And in the back side, you also have two 110 outlets and two USB ports. So you can charge your computer, charge your phone, plug up, you know, whatever you need to, and then sit on either side of it and have direct access view, of course, to the, uh, to the TV. Now this is the slate color. They have three colors, of course. They have the cashmere, the pebble, and the slate. This is the slate. It's more of a charcoal grayish, dark gray color. Uh, looks good in here. I think the, the sconces light up. That is uh, indicative again to the full house. The mobile suite or lease suite do not do that. And here again, we're seeing the windows having the seat. So we have a three and a quarter inch wall, just like DRV builds on all their units. So you have three quarter inch wall, wool insulation, double vapor barrier. So you see this window seat, that's something you don't see in any other toy hauler. Then again, all center lights are, LED, are dimmable. So the main lights in the coach work off of a dimmer switch so you can dim the lights down. The uh, lights in the slide out and under the cabinets, those are on a toggle switch so they're just on off. The flooring in this particular unit is a aged asphalt. So we have two colors of flooring. We have the portobello and the aged asphalt. This is the aged asphalt look. We can bring in the elite flooring if we uh, wanted to to give us four choices of flooring. And then the the carpet is a shawl residential carpeting and the flooring is LVT shawl also. And then as we go up into the bedroom bathroom area, 
So as we come up through the hallway, uh, we will see the door on the right, and this is our command station for the unit. So as we come in, uh, we can see that we have the control systems. So in the top, we have the slide out controls. You'll have the bedroom slide. Um, well, let's go with the top section here. We have the door side security lights. That's the four inch light on the outside of the coach. So we have the door side and the off door side. Electric water heater. So we have a 12 gallon gas electric water heater. This is the electric side of the water heater, the LP side of the water heater. And then a water pump to pull off of your 100 gallon fresh tank. And the step light is the little light that's on the top step. So at night, if you got up, needed to come down, get a drink of water, get a snack, uh, it would illuminate the steps enough to where you wouldn't fall. And then, uh, of course, with being a toy hauler, you have the generator on board. So you have your remote gen start and your hour meter for the generator. On the bottom section, now we have our slide controls, each slide controlled individually. So we have the bedroom slide, the door side slide, which would be the, the uh, sofa slide, off door side, which would be the kitchen, and the bedroom vanity, which would be your, uh, your dresser slide. And then the sea level gauges, again with the sea level gauges, we read the battery, fresh tank, gray tank, and black tank. These do read percentages, so it would be a percentage of 100 gallons, a percentage of 75, and a percentage of 50. The LP, sea level does make a LP tank that can be read from this display, but DRV does not use that. So that's going to say open. It's an open circuit. And then as we drop down, we have the uh, remote switch for the 1000 watt inverter that is dedicated to the refrigerator. So this uh, 1000 watt inverter, as soon as you unplug from power, it will take over. This does have an auto transfer switch in it, so I would tell you, leave this switch on all the time. If you're out and about, maybe riding your toy, out, you know, whatever, power goes off, the inverter would automatically kick over and turn your refrigerator on, and when the power came back on, then it would go back into standby mode via the transfer switch. So. I would say leave that switch on all the time unless you're in storage. Then we have our power management system. The power management system watches over the coach. It will tell you what you're using. Right now we're on 50 amp service. So it watches the, uh, the water heater, the all three ACs, and it will try to keep you from tripping breakers. It will actually turn functions off and back on uh, as they need be. Then we have our thermostat control. And the thermostat, of course, controls zones, all three zones. Zone 1 is the kitchen living area, zone 2 is the bedroom, zone 3 is the, uh, the garage. In toy haulers we always put a heat pump in the garage because there is no ducted heat out there so we always make that a heat pump. And then as we come down the switch on the left, the large switch, anytime in a DRV you see a large switch that is a 110 switch. The only 110 in this coach inside is the uh, ceiling fan so that's where you turn your ceiling fan on and off. And then you see your awning control in and out, awning light, and Wi-Fi Ranger. Uh, here at RV East for Less, we always have DRV install the Wi-Fi Ranger system, so it's a Wi-Fi extender. And then in the bottom of the door, you will see two, uh, two little black cases. The smaller of the two is your 12 volt fuses. The larger of the two is your 110 breakers. Uh, so this would be your command center. So as we continue on up the hallway, we come to the bathroom. So in the bathroom, we have a 42 inch shower, and then we have a single sink configuration with a waterfall faucet. And then to the left of the shower, we have a nice linen closet uh, with three drawers on the bottom, then a standard porcelain uh, foot flush toilet. And again, you have your 14 inch fan in there. And we always add a few extra lights, so there's a light directly above the toilet and lights inside the shower. The decor we're seeing in this unit is the latte wood. So you have the hardwood maple, and then we don't necessarily say it's a stain because it's a several step process to get this latte color then it's trimmed in mocha so the dark is the mocha cherry with the uh, latte wood is the hardwood maple and for your bathroom you actually have a pocket door so on your pocket door you actually have a wood panel that faces the hallway 
full length mirror that faces inside the bathroom. So you do have a full length mirror inside there. As we come, come on into the bedroom, we come through a standard door. And then as we see on uh, my left, we have the vanity slide, which is our dresser. We have a 32 inch TV with a sound bar again. And inside the cabinet, we have a standard DVD player. This one is not Blu-ray, it is a standard DVD player. Uh, and again, you can see the latte, the wood. It's a very nice look on this wood. We just been doing this for a couple of years, but have been working on it for years to get it. We do have an egress window in the uh, bedroom. So this is an emergency exit window. We have six drawers on our on our chest and uh, soft clothes, of course, all DRV drawers that can be are soft clothes. Now with the JX390 being a 42 foot, this is a queen bed only. So we do have a queen bed, uh, mocha cherry headboard with a padded insert. You have separate dimmer lights on each side, uh, 110 USB connector on the uh, left side of the bed, 110 outlet on the right hand side of the bed. You have the facer nightstands. So you have a uh, top to put your drink or phone or what have you, and then open the door and there's shelves in there. Uh, they have just changed the bedding. So very nice bedding that they went to. You have storage under the bed, about two thirds of the bed is storage. And again, you see the Bible. Uh, here at RE's for Less, we give a Bible and a cross away with every unit sold, new or used. It is offered, uh, not required to be taken, but definitely offered. Uh, so again, as we look at the bed, we have uh, under bed storage and you could put your folding uh, if you had you know linens blankets whatever you could fold up put in here you have uh, good chair good storage underneath here and here we see the bed this is a select comfort so it's a hybrid you have inner spring bottom four inch and a three inch memory foam top And then as we continue on to the front, we have a front closet, of course, front walk-in cedar closet. The doors open uh, to reveal the front walk-in closet. You have a uh, two-drawer chest on the side with shelf, and then a hanging bar from side to side. And then as we continue back downstairs, we want to go into the garage area. So as we come into the garage area of the uh, full house, this particular unit, JX390, has a 10 foot garage. So in the garage, we have a 49 inch TV. And on the left wall, we have a uh, AM FM CD DVD player. And we have outside speakers also, so you can be playing a CD or playing the radio and you can be listening to it outside. We do have metal cabinetry, overhead storage for uh, the garage portion. So we do have a lot of storage in the uh, garage. And then we uh, also have our washer and dryer hookup is here in the garage. We do have eye bolts, tie downs for whatever you're hauling, the golf cart, motorcycle, trike, whatever, whatever it may be that you're hauling, you have your eye bolt hookups for that. And uh, that's of course pulling against the plate that's underneath the floor. So you have very secure system there. Then you have your rear exterior door. And then we have our controls for the garage. We uh, have the bed lift, we have the 14 inch fan, we have the awning extension, this for the cascade and this is for the over the door awning. And then you have your interior lights and your exterior lights. And of course they provide a fire extinguisher in the garage area also. And you have the day night blinds back here. Again, the three and a quarter inch wall, wool insulation, uh, the valance, and then you have the black day blind that blocks out the UV and the white night blind that blocks out all the light. Now, as we're set up now, we have the queen bed is in the travel position. So it's in the overhead top position. And then we have the lower booth that actually makes a bed. It folds up and it's a booth, a sitting booth. And then you can actually uh, fold the backs down and then that would make a lower bed. So these just roll out 
and you do have the legs that if you want to use it for the bed you would extend the leg so it would give you uh, support when it's down and then that would make your lower queen size bed and then you roll it right back up and then you have your booth and then we see our three season enclosure so now we have the doors closed the glass panels are in place uh, so this would be again with your queen bed up top bunk up lower bunk is set up in the booth position so in this position we see the top bunk queen bed is fully up the booth which is folded flat out now is fully up so this would be your travel mode you would then now would have the room to load your golf cart, your bike, your trike, your slingshot, whatever you would be hauling, then now it gives you the space to load that. So this is your travel position. Okay, in this position now, I'm going to show you the beds in the lowered position. So this would be in a sleeping position. You have your upper bed, your queen bed is in its lowest position. And then now we have the booth folded out to where we could use it in the sleeping position. So this would be, now we're set up, it's evening, and where everybody's going to turn in for the night, this would be where and how you would, this configuration would be for the sleeping room, sleeping arrangement. So with our beds in a raised position, uh, we can see that our three season enclosure. So we can open that. We have a latch here, then our doors slide to reveal the outside. And then we can open our, uh, our gate area for the patio deck. having my deck system set up and then I can open these doors we have a release latch on top and then we can open the doors and we can have wide open seating or as I said with this three season enclosure we can actually drop these glass panels down to have some airflow or they are completely removable to have complete access to the screen door so you could uh, have access to the outside or you can leave it open as just an open patio deck and then as we come outside, uh, when we're standing on the deck, our deck is rated for a thousand pounds. And then we look up, we can see the cascade awning with the LED lights on the back of the awning. And then we have the uh, security lights on the back side. Those also are reverse lights. So this is a DRB full house JX390. Again, my name is Ken Reif. I work with RVs for Less in Knoxville, Tennessee. I want to thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me. Uh, and may God richly bless you and your family. Have a great day.